Hey there guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Road to Glory series, episode 8, and you guys are watching this on the Friday, what's upon us? The Weekend League, have you guys prepared? Honestly, I think I've done just enough to get used to the game and find myself comfortable with a team that I think can win me games. I've been exposed though in Division 3 on my main account. Some people on this game are unbelievable. The way they're moving the ball, they're turning, they're weaving, they're bopping, and I can't control it. I literally can't. So I need to step up. I think it isn't so much the team, it's just the way I'm playing. I think for now, for a star to road to glory side, this is probably the best that we could have put together. For the time that we've had to build up coins, trading, and playing games, I'm very happy with what we've been able to achieve so far. One recommendation in the last episode, I absolutely love you. A genius left this comment. He said to me, to get this team on full chemistry, take out Fernandinho and bring in Gundogan. We purchased him for 32,000 coins. His price seems to go up to 34, 35, and then drops. He's up and down. He's like a yo-yo. So Gundogan, for me, he's got a lot of positives that he's bringing to this team. But one negative is his tracking back ability. He doesn't want to do it. And that's where I feel really open. Whereas with Fernandinho, he does have medium to high work crates and he offers that he's a defensive minded player whereas Gundogan he's going to demand the midfield and control it so as long as I am dominating my opponent that's where I will feel the quality from Gundogan as soon as I'm under pressure then he is not reliable so we have to see how we play but six games uh, six games three goals and seven assists all in squad battles and one thing I wanted to mention as well I find myself wasting a lot of coins on fitness cards because I'm playing squad battles so much what I want to do, well, what I've done, is I've built a 10k team that we will try in divisions and see how well it does. So if you've got, like, no coins at all, follow along with me and see if uh, we can find some cheap beasts today. But Hernandez, if you do have 15,000 coins right now, he sells for about 17, 18, but I sniped him. I pretty much snipe all my players these days. Theo Hernandez, right, there's a rumor going around that they will be releasing one to watch SBCs. If they do that, he will shoot up in price. Let's say they don't. Even if he gets game time at Real Madrid, um, I think it's rumored that Marcelo is injured. So if he features and plays well or gets an assist or does something in the game, he will shoot up to 20, 25,000 coins. That is, for me personally, a perfect investment. I will just leave him in the club, forget about him, and eventually I will be able to make profit. So if you want to do that with me, that is absolutely fantastic. But anyway, what I want to do now, guys, is go and show you squad battles, uh, just give you an update of how well I'm doing, and then we'll unlock some SBCs and go into some games with that 10k team. So if you like the sound of that, drop a like, 5,000 likes for today's video would be amazing, and let's go. So what I'm about to say to you guys, you'll probably think I'm crazy, but I've actually felt a difference in offline gameplay speed. Not every single game, just some some games feel a lot quicker than others and I don't know if that's my Xbox playing up or that's the game whether or not it's handicap or it's because of the chemistry or whatever it is but I'm playing with 100 chem every single game and it just feels different in certain matches but just to give you a quick update we're in elite one and we're actually pushing for top 100 I don't believe that we're going to be getting top 100 because I keep choking like it's so random man I'll be able to score like seven goals a game and then all of a sudden the CPU will score three like back to back to back and there's nothing that I can do to defend against it so I will take elite one two mega packs 39,000 coins on Sunday so look forward to that I will do my best just to keep updating that rank and yeah like 48,000 like that is ridiculous man I don't know how they do it they're probably playing on ultimate but anyway let's go and complete the SBCs and see what we can get the coin total isn't looking too healthy right now but there is good reason we've got a stack club really for a road to glory Boateng Alaba you know we've been doing some work in the transfer market uh, one SBC though that has been released today which is Cater I'll do that for the next episode um because I don't have like any players right now. One that I will complete is the premium gold players pack one, which that's not bad. Premium gold players pack, and it is very cheap. So you're needing two players from England that are from the Premier League, two from Spain, La Liga, two from Germany, Bundesliga, and five nationalities, which is, well, minimum five nationalities. And I've just used every single player that I had at the club, apart from this guy, 750, for the right back from Schalke. So there you go. Like, we've done it. One premium gold players pack. Let's open this and hope that we can bring back some of those coins. So let's find out if that was worth it. We're getting three rares, 12 players. Oh, no glow. No glow at all. It's a rare. That's like a yellowy glow on this. What's going on here? Um... 
what uh, how would you even pronounce that name i don't know where to start i genuinely don't know how to pronounce that name that's on a mad one it, oh god i don't know right these cars though oh higuain no that's seriously not a good pack i don't know about you guys but my custom tactics have been glitching look at this look at the state of it uh go to custom tactics 128 you what to 128 speed like, what, what am I going to be doing with that? 128 pressure and regression. I've glitched the game. Where am I going? I'm going to Mars. Jesus. I don't know why it's glitched. And even if you, like, change it to, like, 111, it just keeps going back up. So, even making a new team doesn't work, like a new squad. I've had to go back to an original one that I made ages ago. So, if you have that glitch, I don't even know what to suggest. you just got to of hope that you made another squad that hasn't had that same problem it's so weird look at this now those are my custom tactics that i've been using which is all good looking at this team though that's not bad for 10k i'll take that so in goal we have gomez 1400 coins six foot three 86 reflex saves 83 diving and i've come up against him myself and he has performed a few saves the patch came out earlier today uh, so you're going to be seeing this on the friday let me know how you're experiencing like what's been going on have you noticed any real difference to the gameplay all that i know is that now you're going to have the ability to see your opponent's uh, cursor or whatever it is uh, i don't know if i like the sound of that uh, 2400 coins though for zappa costa haven't used him at all six foot i think he's going to have some nice power when running through so that's awesome dragovic <laughs> favorite he's awesome man dragovic and lindelof are using that cheap uh well broken 10k side left back we're going to be trying van anholt in this side and diddy had to bring back in diddy in the sentiment position though Vilhena looks all right like 1300 coins i think you need him for an sbc well he's he's a good uh, nationality in that league like it's, it's perfect because you can get um triple links and that's what we've used for this team but medium to high work rates hopefully he just holds it down i think actually to be honest i'm going to be using the 4321 formation as you see it leroy fur a load of people been saying fuji you've got to try this guy he's an absolute animal so six foot two four star a week for and he's been good on pretty much every every single fifa so with that height the physical with the pace i like it carillo i think that's how you pronounce his name four star four star recently came over to the uh, premier league newcastle were actually linked with him i thought we were going to get him on loan or actually uh, in effect a transfer but no he didn't come but he looks pretty solid 78 dribbling with four star skills not bad for a non-rare um Boishas, i think that's how you pronounce it i remember this guy used to be like uh, in the Syria, wasn't he not playing for Juventus? I'm pretty sure he was at Juve and he was everyone's go to winger. The pace, the dribbling, solid like four star, four star again. And in the strike position to finish off the team, we have Zarate, four star, four star again, 700 coins. It's going to be a little bit slow, but with that dribbling and shooting, he should be able to uh, sort us out a little bit. So, player instructions what I am going to do is tell the middle sentiment to stay back. I don't think I'm going to really ask anyone to get in behind. Maybe that's my problem right now. Maybe that's why my uh, attack hasn't been that creative because no one's given me the option. But then I, then again, I don't want everyone to be bombing up and then I lose possession high up the pitch. So maybe Zerate getting behind. Uh, no, actually, he's too slow for that. All right, well, we'll leave it as balanced and see how we get on. We're probably going to get a smash with this team, but it's good practice because I want to find out if it is worth uh, using something like this in squad battles to rotate for fitness. So we've got these guys on the bench. They are pretty much out of it yet. Yeah, let's go into divisions and get at least one win. Come on. I'm expecting a good team. Oh, it's not bad. It is not. Yeah, it's not bad. He's got Buffon in goal. That's going to be difficult to break down. That's a good play. Well done. I right, start getting those passes going. Through ball. Ball roll. Hold on. That's going to be a shot across. What a finish that was. Suarez would have been happy with that. Seriously. I don't know. Is that a left winger? I don't know exactly how to pronounce his name, but we're going to find out. I mean, Lindelof and Dragovic, that is an underrated partnership. They're not broken for a reason. That's actually a decent ball over to Ndidi. I'm going to drive this forward. Allow him to commit with a few players. Look at that. Opened up with the... Um, let's go for a drilled one right here. Yes. Perfect. Power header from Ndidi. I want to get Ndidi on the score sheet. He deserves it. He's actually a monster. Hold on. I'm getting stuck. I'm, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I've been let go. Big win. Ndidi's got it. I told you I want to get him that corner goal. 
He's a monster in the air. Is that Leroy Fur? Okay, it's Leroy Fur. I'm going to pop that over the top. He's got Danny Alves though. Oh, that's... Oh my god, that's such a poor pass. Uh, Carrillo, does he feel good? Oh, stop that. Pass. Finish. That's got to be a pen. That has to be a pen. He has taken me out from behind. I don't think he even got the ball. You guys can let me know. I haven't changed the formation at all. 4-3-2-1, just your standard one. And it's playing well. Well, I did like it before I moved to the holding 4-3-3, so it's fine. And this guy hasn't done much. What a pass. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's messed it up. I don't think... Am I going to go for a chip? Oh, come on, Buffon. That was too good. He was way too close to me. I thought I should have made that chip, though. Oh, no, he's going to run straight at me. No, he, he's, in, he's actually in open space. That was a good play. Deserved that goal. That's a good pace from Carrillo. That's a penalty if he touches me. Should have been a penalty anyway. We're going to miss it. We're literally going to miss it. Play, play the ball through. Give it back to him. Yes, and finesse. Oh, God. Yeah, too many bodies in the way. Oh, we're going to get counter-attack. Mario Rui. Jesus, come back here. Come back here, lad. He's carried it all the way through. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, my God. That was the worst challenge ever. No. Banana Hulk, come on. you got to do better than that. you got to help me out, man. I know that was a poor tackle from me, but Jesus. He didn't even attempt to go for the ball. He just kicked his man. Right. Hold on. I'm pretty good at saving these. Left. I told you. That was actually a really nice play. Finish. Yes. 3-1. Game over. Uh, I think we've done enough to deserve this result, but it hasn't been easy. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Wow. Great goal. Yeah, he just completely did me. We just about scraped that result. 3-2. Late on, he scored a very nice goal with Carrasco. That was my fault, though. Wasn't really paying much attention to it. So, yeah, 3-2. I need to go and buy a striker. So, what we're really doing right now is trying to build the ultimate cheap squad battle team. It's like a fitness squad battle side that's going to be cheap for us. And, yeah, we can just keep using it for... Uh, for rotation. Uh, right, so 1,400 coins is all that we've got. Any of the... Should we go for Dwight Gale? I'm actually going to go for Dwight Gale, to be honest. And that's actually mad that he popped up. Yeah, Dwight Gale probably is going to be sick. Four-star weak foot. Three-star skill moves he's lacking, but 83 pace isn't so bad. He should have some decent-ish acceleration, or do we go for someone like Juve? Actually, his dribbling is a little bit poor. 73, though, isn't that great. Oh, Joshua King, two-star weak foot. Oh, that's mad. That's really bad. Um, Michi? <laughs> I don't know. Nah, I don't want to go for Michi, man. Uh, Danny Ings looks good. Danny Ings looks really good, actually. 77 dribbling, 82 pace. Now I've seen Dwight Gale. That's really annoying. That's kind of making me want to go for Dwight Gale. Andy Carroll, no way. Um... I think, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'll purchase a Dwight Gale for cheap. Oh, no. Actually, hang on a minute. We need someone from Watford, don't we, to get chemistry or someone who is Dutch. We've changed out the team just slightly. I wanted to try Gale. At least try him on this game. See what he's about. Four star week for decent enough pace and he's going to be on full chemistry. Walcott, I was very close to purchasing Lingard, Jesse Lingard. And then I saw this guy open bid 1,200 coins and I got him. He sells for 1,600. So we've made a little bit of profit there. Unfortunately, he's not in the right wing position. So he's only hitting five chemistry, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. Every game I go into, I'm just dreading what we're against. 4-3-3, strong. Just overall, it's a strong side. De La Feu, Ben Yedda that I haven't tried yet. I th is Ben Yedda good? Anyone used him? Let me know because he looks amazing. He has uh, Williams though that I didn't really like that much, but he's quick. Nice passing. And again, who's he controlling? He's not controlling. No, I wanted that pass earlier. I've scored it. I mean, give him credit. Dwight Gale has got his first goal, but it's not going to count. Oh, that's where I'm going to get opened up. Keeper's going to have to come out. Oh, I brought him out and he didn't really do much. I wish if they actually rewarded you for judging a situation and bringing your keeper out. But they never seem to get it this year. Keep running. 
through ball. What a pass to Theo Walker. <laughs> Just the pace, the sheer pace, man. Let's go. Um, I'm, I'm struggling in this game to compete with the team that he has. I've never, ever been in a game on any ultimate team where it's been one shot, one goal for both players. That just looks so weird. He has dominated the play, though. I'm struggling to build up around him, and he's not really defending. I, I need to pay attention to who he has, like, got selected, and then I can, like, drive at the uh, CPU or the AI. Who he's not controlling. I'm a little bit wasteful in possession, I find, these days. I know we're using, like, this 10k team, but still, you got to keep possession. What the hell? What's happened here? I've been red carded. What? For what? Literally didn't do anything. So, yeah, unfortunately, we are down to 10 men. We've got Theo Walcott running through, and he's going to drop his shoulder again. No, I try to. I'm doing my absolute best right now to defend with 10 it's going back to him. No, that was awful defending, and it's going to be a goal. Oh, he's dabbing again. Like, why is everyone dabbing against me? What have I done? Oh, that's great pace, though. If we can find that cutback on the edge. Through. Turn. Finish. No, we should have equalized there. And that's the quality. That's like different players. A, a good card would have finished that. Oh, that's a good ball. Go, 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 go. That's a penalty. Oh my, he's actually given away a penalty in the 90th minute and he was playing like that. And that's a red card. <laughs> what an absolute mess, man. If I miss this, I'm not going to be happy. I'm going to the left. Dwight Gale, here we go. Come on, Gale. Brilliant. <laughs> Worst penalty ever. The loss itself, I don't really care about because it's just practice. But one thing that was a little bit confusing... Why did Ndidi get sent off? I, I swear, I didn't actually do anything. I don't think I was even controlling him. So I'll leave the whole, like, clip so you guys can tell me exactly what's going down. I don't know. He was already booked and he got another yellow. So, yeah, we lose the game. And the team, I don't think, can compete, to be honest. It's not good enough. So that fitness team really didn't work out. We're going to have to tweak it a little bit if we're going to beat the AI on Legendary. So that is what we will be doing over the next couple of episodes. Recommend me some players that are cheap, like for 650 coins. Literally so cheap that play very, very well. We build the ultimate side together. One thing that I wanted to speak to you guys about before we jump into the last game with our main weekend league side, we've switch up the formation to the 4-3-3 number two and get back to winning ways is the update the patch what are your thoughts on it one thing that i really dislike is the fact that your opponent can see the indicator oh well yeah whatever it is the cursor the indicator to allow them uh, knowledge of who you're controlling i don't like that too much it defeats the whole purpose of defending like you can just see who they're controlling i think it's dumb to be honest i don't know why they brought that in it's never been like that on ultimate team and for whatever reason they thought it was a good idea to change things now why leave it there was nothing wrong with it and now i've got something else to learn it is oh this game is difficult man oh, we've got to focus we've got to grind and we've got to move into the last game of today's episode, we need a win. Don't, like, we have to win. Let's go. So we have to end on a win for today's episode. 4-1-2-1-2 wide. So here we go. I've changed up the uh, formation to the 4-3-3 number two just before kickoff. And let's see how well we can play with it. We need to get back to winning ways as soon as possible. Come on. Let's start linking up. Give it to Fabinho. W not 1-0. <laughs> he has snapped me. No, that's got to be at least a red. Oh, come on. Hold on. Hold on to it. I'm getting bullied right now. <laughs> I don't know how I've kept possession. I don't know how I've just scored that goal. I was getting demolished on the ball by whoever that defender was. Jesus was getting killed. Good turn. That's what Gundogan will provide. He's just so quick with his feet. Let's go. And again, yes, good stuff. Finish, finish, finish. There we go. Back to, well, winning ways currently. Who knows what's going to happen in this match. But that was nice. Just that whole build up with uh, Gundogan, how he took the ball. That is what he's going to provide over Fernandinho. So this is more like it, guys. We're winning in this match. 2-0. Let's keep it that way. Oh, don't lunge. Don't lunge. Oh, that's a good interception. Yes, Baye. Well played. Give it back to Baye. Just as well, we got him. Oh my god, he's going on a run. Nice pass. Baye's there. Back. Yes, finish. 
Oh, that is a scuff shot from Keita. Maybe he did it on purpose. It was always going to go in. But Baye, do you see that powerful run? He just jetted all the way through the middle. I don't know how they do it. Like, for me, I don't play, like, Ultra D. And I think that's what they're doing. And that's why I get caught on the counter every time. Because they just have tons and tons of players sat back. Oh, that passing, though. That was a really nice goal. Now we're starting to warm up with our main weekly side. And this feels a lot better. Accelerate. I've got Balassi running at me. Well, running after me. He can't catch it. He can't catch Keita, though. He's not quick enough. Oh, he turned his mouth. Oh. There's always another one. He's going to play that across. No. Just leave, just leave your man there. That actually auto-switched. I have auto-switching turned off. Well, to air balls only. I like the look of this though. Oh, okay, let's go. Dip again. Oh, we're going to get the rebounds. Oh, I just kicked him. Jesus Christ, Keeper. Where are you booting that? Right. If we can get this whipped in. Ah, that turn from Aurier was nice. The hill to hill. I can see the angle opening up. On the edge to Goleska. That's in. That was really nice. Well played. 5-0. I feel, I feel comfortable now. We were, we're back to winning ways. I'm very pleased that we won 5-0 in the end. There's a lot of work still to be done though. Defensively, I am all over the place at times. Although we kept a clean sheet, he wasn't really the best of players. So in the weekend league, I think I'm going to get exposed a little bit. And with that indicator being brought to the game, that doesn't help. Oh dear. So the team that you're seeing on your screen right now is our first official weekend league side and I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we don't get absolutely destroyed. I hope that the formation can hold out for us like 4-3-3 number two is the best formation for me right now like I'm playing the best FIFA with it but I don't think it is actually suited for the way I want to play if that makes any sense because I prefer to have a cam but this FIFA whenever I use a cam I get exposed my two centimeters start pushing up a little bit and I have nobody back so it's forcing me to be a little bit more defensive and then using what I have up top to create chances we've got good players in this side formation is fine I'm sure that we do all right, but if there is any problems after this weekend, we will find out because we'll get exposed and then we'll have to address them like defense, attack, the formation, it will probably all change. So let me know in uh, the comment section or on Twitter at Fuji720PYT is my Twitter. So if you want to drop me a follow, send me your teams that you're going to be using this weekend and I wish you the best of luck. You're going to need it because it's going to be just so difficult. <laughs> so yeah, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed another episode and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.